Hello, hello, this is Narwhal Hacks, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own custom UI library. Because recently I was looking at, um, I was looking at using, as you guys probably know, I'm terrible at making UIs, so I was looking at using UI, like Aztuf and Wally's UI libraries. So like here's Aztuf's UI library. And as you can see, it's pretty good. But like, I was looking at using their UI libraries because I can't make a UI for my life. So I was looking at using their UI libraries and you can use theirs, fair enough. But like, say you want a little more functionality than just the, um, than just what they let you have. Then you have to make a, um, then you make your own. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own UI library. Also, I'm gonna release this uh, on my UI library. So first of all, let me show you what I've made. So I've made, uh, No, never mind. Alright, let's just get straight into making the UI library. So first, all we have to do is we can close out of that. And we can just go into like an empty thing. Like you would make a normal GUI. And then we're going to start designing our GUI. Screen GUI. And then we're going to have a frame. And this frame is going to be like beautiful. We're going to have a beautiful frame here. And whatever. There's our beautiful frame. And then we have to add a button. So this button is going to be like black and whatever. And it's going to have white text for no reason. So there's your button. And next what we want to do is inside this frame, we're going to make a UI list layout. And then we can customize this however we want. But this is going to automatically align our buttons for us. So I could align the button right in the center. Perfect. And this is just going to make it much, much easier for us later. Um, so we don't have to manually align all the buttons. And then we're going to go and select the screen GUI and convert it to Lua as normal. And we're going to just... So now we've got all this. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, we are going to make our, we're gonna have a library um, variable here. So we're gonna have local library equals that, and then that's all you have to do. And then we have to have a function for to create the main library. So it's going to be function library dot create main. And then we're going to open that. And then inside that, we're going to put our screen GUI, our frame, and like basically anything that you only want to have one of. If you only want to have one of it, it goes in here. So there, and then we can get rid of all this stuff in the UI list layout. And then we're going to put this stuff, oh, I almost forgot. To, for screen GUI parent, it's going to be game.coreGUI. We're going to take screen GUI frame and UI list layout. And then we're going to take the UI list layout also. And then those are all going to just go right in there. So that's our library create that create main. And then next we're going to add another little, um, it's going to, we're going to add another variable that's going to be, this can be named like whatever you want, but I'm going to name it local gamer 
library. Is it spelled right? Great. I know half this probably isn't spelled right. Anyways, try to spell it right. Function. Then we're gonna have a function that's gonna be gamer. I cannot type today. Gamer library. Dot. L in there. It's gonna be gamer library. Dot. Um. Let's see. Uh, dot button. And there's our function. And we're gonna take our text box, put it in there. We're gonna take all this and put it in there. And then the next part's what kind of confused me. So we have to take the, uh, just doing this so it looks nicer. All right, so now we have to take this function and we have to make it so when we call this function, we're able to call the name and the callback. So what we have to do is we're gonna do function game library button name comma call back and then uh it's gonna be text box dot do you not call the text box name at all? Oh it's probably because it's default name. Xbox dot name equals name and then we're gonna call the callback and then we probably should make the text also that should text box dot text equals name too and then we're gonna do the callback this was the part that confused that confused me we have to do the parent we have to call the parent of the text box so frame dot find dot find I cannot type today. Find first child name dot mouse. I can't type at all. Mouse button one click dot connect. And then we're gonna put right here call back. So now we're gonna take our little. Oh, and I almost forgot. We have to have here outside of this gamer library thing. If you're calling multiple things with gamer library, just change the function to gamer library dot and whatever you want to call. And then we're gonna at the end of all that you're gonna return gamer library. And then over here you're gonna return uh, library. And that's all we have to do. So now we can copy that. Go to like paste bin and just paste, call it like UI library, library, I cannot type UI library. And then remember, because we're going to call it with a load string, we want the raw thing. So just do paste bin.com slash raw slash and then whatever your other thing is. So here's our little library. And then we're going to take this, we're going to make it into a load string. I just have a little preset thing of a load string. So we're going to take this, make it into a load string. And then we're going to say local library equals, and local library is going to equal um, load string it's gonna equal the load string that's there. And then what we have to do is we have to call a create, did I call create main? Yep, so we gotta call local main equals library dot create main. And then we gotta put some little things that we can do main dot button now in here we can say hello and then the callback we're going to go function like that and then go to in here and it's going to be end end and we're going to 
gonna go right here. And here's our callback. So we can go print. So you can put whatever you want here. Hello. And now if we go into vacuum simulator, just using this as my example because no one ever had heard already. we just wrote this in here, so local, local, actually we could probably just copy it, for some reason it's not liking my button thing, main dot button, hello, function, oh, see the problem. Uh, normally it isn't this hard, I'm just being dumb. Function like that. Okay, there we go. And we can print hello. And now this is like completely uh, that's already injected. So this is like did I just, did I literally create the wrong thing from the beginning? Oh, it wasn't a text button, it was a text box. Wow, I'm dumb. Create a button for yours. Make yours a button and not a text box. I'm surprised I didn't see that until now. That's embarrassing. Don't make yours a text box, guys. Now we need a new paste bin. Just gonna spam some random characters. <laughs> this is very embarrassing, guys. Alright, so now that we have a thing that is actually what it's supposed to be. Now, we are just going to pop into Vacuum Simulator. Look at this shouldn't be taking this long. None of my stuff wants to work right now. Okay, so now that we're, now that we've got a thing that actually works, now we can click this and it's gonna we can click this and it's gonna print hello and then the advantage of doing it this way is that if we go back in here and we actually copy the right paste bin thing um if we go in here we can do main dot button and then we can make a million different buttons this button's gonna be Hi. Hi. And we can create main dot button lol. And then we can go back into the game. And I, I would actually put some scripts there instead of just writing hi, hello, and lol. But, um, that's up to you. <laughs> so now that we have our own UI library, you can see we got this stuff. And then, hello, hi, lol. They all work. Just don't make them text boxes. Alright, that's all we have, so thanks for watching.